Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webcast. Today, we are pleased to present another great opportunity by way of Insperity and their leading expense management product, Expensable. Today, we are going to talk about something that every business worries about and every customer needs to get a handle on, expense management. Hello, everyone. My name is Don Grease. I am the Manager of Business Development and Vendor Programs here at Lifeboat Distribution. And we are really happy to be chatting with Insperity today. You may recognize the name, especially if you follow the PGA Tour. But I hope today you leave this webinar with the knowledge that Insperity helps businesses run their HR operations, and in the case of Expensable, helps organizations to get a handle on employee expenses, leading to tremendous cost savings and increased productivity. Thank you all for attending. I also want to thank our main panelists for today's discussion, Vince Nicosia, Senior Director, National Channel Development for Insperity Expense Management. Vince is a veteran of sales and channel management with over 25 years of comprehensive technology experience. So we are glad to be talking with you today, Vince. Welcome, and uh, we'll have a good discussion here in a minute. Thank you. All right. Now. You're welcome. I can't wait to jump into this discussion, but before we do, I just want to encourage everyone to ask as many questions as you would like, and you can do that by answering your questions in the Q&A panel on the right-hand side of the screen. At the conclusion of the discussion, we will answer as many questions as time permits. We are also going to be popping up some polling questions along the way, so please answer as many of the questions as you can, and remember, we are also going to give away a $100 Amex gift card to one attendee before we sign off. And so with that, let me bring in Vince. And welcome again, Vince. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you here. So let's, talk, let's start off by talking about Insperity, which is such a great brand. Um, but it's still a little bit new to Lifeboat resellers. And Expensable is the most recent addition for our resellers. So please tell us about Insperity a little, a little background on Expensable, and how you go to market with this solution. Sure. Um, well, Insperity has been around since 1986, public and held company, and uh, with over 100,000 businesses that uh, we provide business performance solutions to. And our expense management is a great example of one of those solutions. Um, back a uh, few years back, um, we purchased the Expensable product, came from Intuit originally. Um, so our Expensable division is out of Irvine, California, um, where we have both a desktop version, which we'll talk about here today, and a software as a service version. Um, we have over 3,000 some odd customers, clients that we serve um, in our software as a service version, and tens of thousands of customers um, that have bought the Expensable desktop version over the years. Wow, um, you certainly have uh, a strong position in the market. That's great to hear. Um, let me ask you now about, you know, there are a number of ways that businesses can benefit from a best of breed expense management tool like Expensable, but tell us some of the ways that Expensable helps businesses to stop bleeding when it comes to tracking employee expenses. Yeah, very good. You know, there's there's a couple different reasons, main reasons why folks um, will get involved with expense management or utilize it. Um, one is it just it's much quicker to speed through the entries. We think about the filer or the creator, the person actually using it, creating the expense report. Um, it makes it so much quicker for them to put the entries into um, the, the expense management product. Um, of course, so today with the hot mobile app that we have, um, it really allows that to, uh, to take on uh, just a much more fast and easy approach to getting those in. Um, typically, that creation and tracking um, then leads to accounting taking that expense report. Um, and, you know, if you think about it, accounting then has to take that same data and re-enter that into QuickBooks, Quicken, um, Great Plains, uh, whatever they might be using as their accounting system. There's a lot of duplication there and a lot of time spent on creating and then finally putting it into the accounting system. For customers that do billing, um, they bill bad expenses back to 
customers of theirs. So a few partners have customers out there that have consulting um, folks, they have service folks, um, folks that are billing back anything to projects to a customer. The expense management product provides a much better, much more professional way of doing that. Um, and in many cases will help them um, get reimbursed for those items quicker. Um, so it's sort of a neat thing in the sense that uh, a lot of customers will use expense management um, to help tackle that issue. Um, there's a lot of graphing and reporting that's, that can be done um, that's built in the system. And these reports and graphs and charts can provide the customer with a lot of insight as to what's going on with their expense spend. Um, you know, a lot of times we don't necessarily remember that, hey, we have this customer in Kalamazoo and we have two folks going there on an ongoing basis. And maybe those two folks are traveling to that particular customer and when they get there, they stay at two different hotels. Well, we may not even realize that's happening until we can go back and look at it in a report. That allows us then to maybe go back to one of those hotels and negotiate a better rate for 2013 based on us being able to show in our report our stays for 2012. So the reporting can be not just for internal uses, it can be to leverage and reduce travel expenses. Um, at the bottom of the slide, everyone will see there's a link to the Expensable Office version 9, which we're talking about today, um, and it gives you full demos. You can link, send that link to customers. You'll see it again here in a little bit. Um, but uh, that provides full demos of the product, the feature set, um, and it's just a great sales tool. Um, but at any rate, uh, basic automation will help all around. And, and Vince, it sounds like um, the product is robust, but do you need to be an accountant to sell Expensable? <laughs> That's always a good question. I get that <laughs> once in a while. No, you know, um, I'm going to be honest with you. The product originally came from Intuit, and I don't think I really probably have to uh, talk a little bit about how Intuit approaches an ease of use and GUI um, approach, but I can tell you the heritage of the product comes from that. It's extremely easy to install, extremely easy to operate and maintain. Um, so not necessarily an accounting degree needed, um, although I will say for the partners out there, for those of you that have folks that, you know, you have customers that are using QuickBooks and you have that acumen, obviously they're great to proactively go after. Um, the expense module is a great one to add to that to help automate um, and provide a best in breed piece of technology. Excellent. You know, there's the, well, okay, here we go. Everybody, I got to tell you, this is probably the most exciting piece of what's happened to expense management over the next couple of years. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Well, Vince, what is your view then of the opportunity in the market to sell Expensable, and where is really the sweet spot, if you have a sweet spot, for the product? Um, I'm going to answer the first part of that question first, mobile app. The mobile app has literally ignited and re-energized expense management. All those folks out there that use an Excel spreadsheet, which is 90% of the folks that you'll go out and talk to when you talk to your customers, um, they'll say, oh, well, you know, I have an Excel spreadsheet and it works great. And they've been saying that for 15 years. But the mobile app is just a huge, massive opportunity because when they see it, when they understand it, they immediately see a need to, to automate. Um, to the size and, let's say, the right target, um, our Office desktop version 9 is really targeted at 1 to 25 users, right in that space. Um, if you look at expense management today, and I've been with expense for quite a few years, it's interesting to see because most of our competitors <clears throat> also had a desktop version. But as the cloud came about and everybody created a software as a service, um, they all discontinued those. <clears throat> and today we have obviously are one of the few that have continued with it. And, of course, adding the mobile app really is huge. But if you look at the target audience, it's really that 1 to 25 users. Um, and uh, that fits it just perfectly. Um, and, you know, typically it's going to be customers um, that uh, are not necessarily um, um, are not necessarily that size. They may have a company that has 50 some odd employees, but they only have 10 to 15 um, travelers or expense reporters. Right. Okay. Um, and that's important to distinguish that um, uh, for our resellers. Um, now, moving on from there, 
Um, how can resellers actually recognize a good expensable opportunity and where should they be looking for expensable opportunities? Very good. Um, yeah, good question. Um, you know, I always say look for travelers. If you talk to your customers and they say they have travelers, uh, obviously there's expense reports being created. Um, there's also folks that, you know, are doing per diem, let's say, um, or they have service staff that's doing mileage and that kind of thing every month. Um, you know, any one of those really drives that piece. So it's, it's, it's that kind of thing. Customers that fall within certain categories that have regulation or compliancy that overlay them, like energy or healthcare or government contractors, those are all industries that pretty much have to have something. Um, they have to not only be able to create the documentation, but they have to be able to, be able to report on it properly, um, and in many cases, sometimes even bill it back, like we talked about earlier. <clears throat> so that last bullet there, media companies, consulting companies, service companies, um, think about consulting companies, all those that would bill back some of their expenses to their customers. It really does help in that sense. So um, finding those targets and looking for those types of customers. Very good. You know, I, I want to backtrack for just a second, Vince, uh, back to the mobile app. Um, and I did want to ask you, um, does the mobile app work on any smartphone or is it only certain uh, OSs of smartphone that it's good for? Very good. Um, Apple and Android. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So let's move on. Um, key questions. Are there key questions that our resellers can ask to uncover opportunities? Yeah, there sure is. I mean, the easiest one really is, how are you doing your expense reports today? And, you know, I will tell you, I mean, literally 80% of the folks out there today will say Excel. You know, they have an Excel spreadsheet. They fill that out. Yeah, it does the math. That's automation. They then print that. And I think all of us have probably done this and will smile. Then they do their arts and crafts. They take all the receipts and they tape them all down nice and neat on a piece of paper. Um, and they send that off a lot of times in FedEx, right? And it goes off to whoever's going to sign off um, on that expense report or to corporate or wherever. Um, and, uh, and so that process is usually what you're going to hear. So I always say, hey, just tell them to explain what their process is. Once you're there, you also then, the next question would be, well, how do you get that data then into the accounting system for, for you know, your CPA, your accounting department, uh, for reporting and tax purposes? And, uh, and there's another area where there's just a lot of duplication. Um, of course, the first question when I ask them about the Excel spreadsheet today, once they're done answering that question, you got to see the mobile app. And that just really will just change their concept of expense management if they have seen it in the past. Um, how long does it take for the filer to get their money back, you know, to get reimbursed? Um, if you talk to filers, that's their biggest concerns. When they actually hit send, how long does it take me to get reimbursed? And then if you think about the example I just gave you, so I package up my expense report, I send it off into FedEx, a couple days later it ends up on my boss's desk. Uh, my boss is great, you know, turns it around in a couple days every single time, but happens to be on a trip this time, so maybe it takes a couple more days. Then that then gets turned over to the accounting department. They have to then input it into the system. Um, so that process typically can go two to three weeks easily, um, and that person's just waiting for their check, right? Um, so this can cut that down dramatically. You know, we talked about um, an example of a, of a customer has two service folks that go to Kalamazoo and they visit that hotel. Um, well, now we've got that policy. We've negotiated a great rate with the courtyard across the street, and now this allows me to go back and see, are we sticking to that? You know, are my folks really staying there? So we are getting that better rate. Um, so the tracking of those expenses. And then the last one, I always ask them, you know, do you have customers that you're billing back to? Um, do you have to bill back some of your T&E or some expenses to customers? And that's always a great one because that process needs to look professional. They will get questions on an ongoing basis, so they have to go back and generate reports at times. And of course, it's key to them getting paid. So if you can cut that process down, they get paid quicker. And it's always a great one to always ask. But those are some of the main questions that I would ask. And, and those definitely seem like questions that would uncover opportunities pretty quickly. And, you know, I'm thinking back, I'm listening to you, I'm thinking back to the days when I would have to uh, travel and FedEx in my 
my expenses and just, yeah, it's an unbelievable manual process. And the cost savings alone, just on if you had a large enough organization with everybody FedExing receipts around, um, you know, it's, it's a built-in cost savings right there. So, uh, so this looks great. Um, one of the things that I like to try to do in these conversations is to kind of, you know, frame it and position it for our resellers as to how they could recognize um, good opportunities, but then also recognize opportunities that maybe aren't the, the best fit so that they don't spin their wheels and they, um, they know when to, um, uh, to, to push for the opportunity or when to walk away. So how would you describe expensable and when it's a great opportunity and maybe when they can move on to the next opportunity? Yeah, I guess the best way to answer that one, in my mind, is what's not a target. And it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's really customers are going to have ERP systems like SAP or Oracle. Those customers will have expense management sort of built in, maybe not as easy to use, but built in. But the integration in that is just way beyond. So those are usually customers that will go, you know, to a more customized version. Um, you know, customers that get beyond the 25 to 30 users of the product, the feature set they're looking for in integration really fits more of our software as a service kind of version or a cloud version. Um, so it's, it's typically more of a size. Um, the customers that are great for it, literally anybody that is using QuickBooks that have great planes or dynamics, um, those are, they've proven that they in fact are keen on, on watching their numbers and, and managing their business. And this module just plugs right in. It literally is just like a module plugs in. The data flows right through. Um, so the cost savings there we were talking about before, I mean, obviously accounting doesn't have to re-enter all that information. I get paid quicker as a user or as a, a filer. Um, so, but, um, you know, I would tell you the target is um, really that size. Okay, perfect. Um, well, now that we understand the value proposition of Expensable and we, we know how to uncover the opportunities, um, let's talk a little bit about what's in it for the Insperity reseller. Can a reseller really make money selling Expensable? Um, definitely. Obviously, there's the normal uh, margins that you, you'll, you'll make off of selling licenses. And, and I can tell you over the years, having many software products, um, that's usually where it ends, unfortunately. Um, but with expense management, it's not where it ends. Um, there's a lot of professional services that can be wrapped around the sale of, prof of expense management and then the integration, installation, and training of it. Um, and things like, you know, the setup and the integration of, of how they would want to utilize it. Um, you know, myself, um, I, I submit my expense report. Well, where does that go? That goes to my boss, Carrie. Um, and then Carrie would be set up in the system so it automatically, when I click send or, um, you know, send it off, it automatically goes packaged up to Carrie in an email. Um, things like that can be set up. Policy creation, I mentioned those two individuals going to Kalamazoo. Um, you know, the policy could be created. Reviewing of those policies and the creation of them, um, you know, that can be done by the partner. Um, the accounting integration. Um, there is a straight integration with most county systems and QuickBooks being most likely the most common one, um, but there's things that can be done to um, help with reporting on the other end, um, what type of uh, codes are being used and, and things like that, GL codes and things. So um, that can be um, a service um, or professional services that are provided. Customer training, um, you know, the product is pretty easy to install and get up and running, but you know, uh, like usual, a 20-minute, half-hour, hour kind of breeze through and watching somebody do it is everything. So a lot of times uh, partners can, you know, do some training on the product. Um, and then the systems administration. Somebody will administrate that change. So let's say now my new boss is Joe, and uh, Carrie's now been promoted, and my new boss is Joe. So what happens is, is that person can go in and make that change. So my expense reports automatically go to Joe now. Um, and those type of services are, are, are great ones to add. One of the ones that we view as just a fantastic one, when you asked the question earlier, do you need an accounting background? 
Not really, but for those partners out there that have the accounting acumen, you have a practice around that, you have some understanding of accounting principles, um, that partner could then deliver a 90-day kind of review. Going back to the customer and saying, hey, the last 90 days, this is what we did. I mentioned that you know, one-year review for the hotel um, and being able to negotiate better rates, but those kind of things, believe it or not, most customers don't necessarily go through. All the reporting and everything's built right in the system. But it's more that presentation of that data and just looking at it and noticing, oh, yeah, you know, Joe hasn't been going to that particular courtyard at the Kalamazoo. And, oh, by the way, you know, you guys are spending a lot on, on this particular item. Why don't we talk to that vendor? Um, and, geez, this, this particular item has gone crazy this last quarter. Why is that? Maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's not. Um, so that 90-day quarterly kind of review, um, in my mind, is of great value to the customer. And believe it or not, a lot of times they don't have the time to go through and do that, yet let's have the extra set of eyes looking from the outside. Um, so that's a great example of some professional services that can be added on. Okay, terrific. Um, that is good news to hear, certainly. Um, and I think we uh, perhaps um, have touched on this previously, but what would you say about uh, any key verticals where the product is really strong, Ben? Yeah, you know, by far it's going to be folks that have travelers um, and, uh, and are doing some expense reporting. Um, I mentioned any industry or vertical that falls within compliance or HIPAA, and, you know, like healthcare and government regulation, all those have to provide proper documentation. Um, and then lastly, you know, folks that do that billing back, that have customers um, that they have to bill them back to um, any type of expenses. Those are just great examples um, of, of the targets. But you know, I would tell you any business, small business out there today that has QuickBooks is probably proactively just a great one to call into. Um, you know, keep in mind the opportunity here is pretty tremendous. There have been tens of thousands of copies of Expensable sold, the desktop version, over the last 10 years. And, of course, you know, we created a cloud version and we went that direction and we continued to upgrade our desktop version. But I would tell you probably of those tens of thousands, and I'm talking it's a massive number between Intuit and ourselves, that have not upgraded. They have version 7, version 8. And when they see the mobile app, it's a reason for them to do it. So when you're talking to customers, a lot of them will be very familiar with the Expensible and the Expensible brand um, and the product. And it's just a massive opportunity out there um, for those folks then to be upgraded. That's great news also. Um, I know we have some questions uh, queued up here that we're going to get to in a minute. But before we do, Vince, um, what are just a few key things that you would like Lifeboat's loyal resellers to remember about Insperity and Expensable in particular? You know, in Sparity, we're just completely focused on small and medium business. Um, if you look at Insperity as um, corporate, it, is, it tries to produce better performance for small business in many ways. So we try to understand the business. We try to understand where we can fit. The expense management is just a key pillar in that. Um, and uh, as a leader in this space, you know, I would tell you the mobile app, it is just a massive opportunity when people see it. They no longer think, well, I have Excel, and I still will type it in, but, you know, maybe it makes it easier for me to type it in. That completely goes away. And that 80% of the folks out there to truly today that are still using Excel, this is the one-time killer feature in the last three to five years that I've been in expense for 10 years, I can tell you, that has come by that creates a massive opportunity. And it's just exciting. Okay. All right. Well, then, with that... We're going to jump into some questions, then. Um, and let's start with this one. Um, one of our resellers jumped in just a little bit late, and his question is, what does the customer do with the receipts? Um, well, there's a couple different ways they can get receipts into, um, into their expense report. The mobile app, that's how I do everything. I literally do my entire expense report that way. Don, when I came to see you a couple weeks back, that's how I did my expense report there in the training for your folks. I literally did it in front of them. Um, and uh, you take a picture of it off your phone, it sends it off, you can type in all the information so you don't have to enter anything once you get to the expense report. That's one way. 
Um, another way would be emailing it. You can email that receipt to what we call our eBIN, um, and then that will bring it right in. Um, another great way to bring items in is through a credit card. Um, you know, a good portion of the things that I don't have receipts for when I travel are usually on my credit card, like my airfare and things like that. And, uh, and I can pull them right off my credit card and it brings them in and feeds right into my expense report and automates that in a big way. Um, so it's, you know, it's just, there's many ways to get them in, but that's a great example of some good ones. Okay, and that, that sounds pretty easy, so that's nice. Okay, what about mileage reimbursement, and are there any ad hoc expenses where the person is not sure maybe of what type of expense it is? How do those get handled? Yeah, so I mean, there's categories that you can create, and, and I mentioned in the setup for that matter, um, partners out there can help with the customer um, by creating new categories, but you can have miscellaneous, um, you could have incidental, those kind of categories. There's already a couple of those there. Um, that normally somebody would use. Um, that's normally what they would do. Um, and, uh, and from a standpoint of getting those in, um, if it's not on a credit card, it didn't come on off my mobile app, I can simply type it in too. Okay, and how about the mileage reimbursement? How does that work in Expensable? Um, it, you can set up mileage reimbursement, you can set up the amount it is. You know, most companies will have a fixed amount that they're reimbursing on, um, and, and it'll calculate that and do all that great stuff. Okay. Now this next one, I'm not so sure that this is really an expensable thing, but I'm no expert, so maybe I'm wrong. But here's the question. Is there any way to track billable time spent at customer sites or traveling? I'm sorry, one more time? It broke up a little bit. Is there, is there a way to track billable time spent at a customer or uh, for billable time traveling? No. Um... You know, the time piece would probably be more of a QuickBooks side where you're invoicing customers for consulting time or, you know, service time. Um, that's where hours normally would be charged. Um, could somebody create a line item for that and put it in the expense report? Sure. Um, and so they could do that in the expense report. They could have a line item, let's say, the first item in the expense report that is the hour and put in the rates and stuff, and it would put the amount in. Um, and then you would just then put in your T&E and travel stuff below that. It could be done, um, but uh, normally I would tell you customers would probably use QuickBooks to do that. Okay. Um, here's, a, here's a good question, uh, something I didn't think of, but um, the question is, does Expensable support multi-currency? Yes, it does. Yeah. And, you, and you can pick the currency. Okay, perfect. Um, Next question, having to do with the mobile app. Do you have the ability to take a photo of the receipt and attach it with the mobile app? Yeah, that's the, the key. There's, what we did with the mobile app, by the way, was pretty robust. It wasn't just take a picture and send it in. We actually allow the user to do just about everything they would want to do, even a, a manager who's doing the approvals. So the mobile app, you take a picture of the receipt, um, you can type in, you know, um, the amount, uh, the date, all that stuff gets filled in there if you want, um, or you can just send the receipt, whichever, and then you can hit send. When it goes in the expense report, it attaches the receipt to that line item. Um, in the expense report, it creates the line item automatically, um, and uh, basically that's how that piece works. On the other side, by the way, I mentioned it just a second ago, the manager then who then gets the expense reports um, queued up for them to approve can do all that stuff there on the mobile app too. So it's not just take a picture of the receipts. It literally is most of the process you would do in expense management. That's awesome. Um, next question is, is the mobile app an additional cost to the desktop license? Um, you know, in other words, are they separate or is it all combined? Nope, the 149.95 MSRP includes one year support and the mobile app. And we're pretty proud of the mobile app. It's pretty tremendous. That's awesome, okay. Well, folks, um, and Vince, uh, for now, that's all the questions that I see, but uh, we are going to announce our Amex gift card winner, and then we're going to move on to our call to action. Um, but let's see about the, um, let's see who we have for the winner today. Hold on with me one second, folks. Reach down into that fishbowl. 
<laughs> I am reaching down. And the winner today is Kyle Getz from SHI International. So congratulations, Kyle. Um, you will be hearing from us shortly regarding um, the gift card. And thank you for attending today. Thank everybody uh, for being here. Um, as I say, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to enter them. Um, in the meantime, um, moving on to our call to action, we really do encourage you to visit the page at Expensable. Um, and Vince had a link in the slide earlier, which I will share with you at the conclusion of the webinar. So that's one uh, page you can check out, or you can check out this page that I have listed on the slide. And here you can actually download a free guide uh, to the top 10 tips to help, your, help you control employee spending. Um, so whether that's a benefit to you or something you can share with your customers, um, that's available to you. There are feature lists um, and a lot more available on Insperity's website. Um, and we do also encourage you certainly to contact your Lifeboat sales rep. Uh, we are here every day for you and we can get you product information. If you want to see maybe a bit of a deeper dive demo of the product, we can arrange that with Vince. And uh, we're certainly here to help you with pricing and any pre-sales uh, assistance for your expensable opportunities. Um, let me take one more check for questions. Hey, you know, while Don's doing that, everyone out there, uh, we are working on an NFR program and should be in place within just a few days. Uh, we're just working out logistics and SKUs. So you should be able to get an offer resale copy that's full-fledged. You can use it yourself through Lifeboat uh, here in the very near future. And that is excellent news. Thank you so much, Vince. Um, I'm sure that our resellers are going to uh, take advantage of that, especially with the awesome mobile app. I mean, what a way to, to, to you know, just get that in front of your customers by just pulling out your phone and showing them all that you can do with that mobile app. So um, we'll look forward to that and uh, being able to make that announcement to our resellers as soon as it's available. Okay. Um, well, everybody, thank you so much again um, for attending today. I hope you found today's presentation valuable. I want you to know that Insperity is really, truly a great company to partner with. They have a superb team. They're always at the ready to help grow your deals and help you um, expand your business into your customer base. So. I encourage you to introduce Expensable to your customers as soon as possible. I want to thank everybody one last time for attending, and it was a pleasure for me and for Lifeboat Distribution to be a part of today's event, and we hope we hear from each of you soon. Thank you, Vince. Any last uh, thoughts you want to express before we log off? No, just thank you, everybody, for your time and mobile app. <laughs> All right, that's it then, folks. You heard it from Vince. Uh, so for everyone here at Lifeboat Distribution and Insperity, thank you all so much. Have a great day. Bye now.